As a teacher, you have a lot of control over how your course appears to your students. For example, if your institution allows it, you can change the full name of the course, which is written in large here, and the short name of the course, which appears in the navigation bar. You can also change the format, how your resources and activities are displayed. This course has numbered topics, for example, which can be renamed, as we'll see later. Many of the changes you can make can be done by going to the administration block, which is here on the right, and by clicking Edit Settings. This takes you to the setup screen of your course, where you can change, if you need to, its full name and its short name, and, again, if appropriate for your institution, the category in which it appears. You can hide it until you're ready and set a course date. You can add a description for your course for students who aren't yet enrolled. And if you wish, you can upload a file, for example, a PDF giving information about your course. If we click course format, this is where we can choose how we'd like the resources to be displayed. Topics gives us numbered topic sections and we can choose the number of sections here. We can also select to have weekly format where the sections are named as weeks. Social format, which is basically one big message board just for discussing. Or SCORM format, which would just allow you to add one particular SCORM package. If we choose topics or weekly format, we can then decide whether we want to show all of these sections on one page, which is what we will do and which is the norm. But if you think you're going to have a lot of sections and that would cause a lot of scrolling, you can opt to show only one section per page. This has an effect on how your students view your course. As we can see here in this course, types of sport. The first time you access it, you can see each of the sections and then grade out on the right the activities which are in those sections. If you then click the link of a section, for example, the second section tennis, the student will then only see the activities in that particular section and they will navigate to other sections by clicking the name of the section on the right or the left or by going to the jump to drop down menu and selecting from there. So this might be useful if you think your course will have a lot of sections. Clicking Appearance will allow you then to decide how many news items in your news forum you want to show. The news forum is simply for announcements and isn't a discussion forum. If you set it to zero, you can then delete the news forum if you don't think it will be useful. Other options can be found by clicking on them and expanding them. For example, if you click role renaming, if you do not want to call your students students, but you have a different name, learner, for instance, then you can change the name here and that will appear just in your course. If we now click Save Changes, in the next video we'll turn on the editing and we can look at other changes we can make to our course, for example, renaming the sections.